We're back to the amazing world of Equestria. Things are going good, probably. Okay, I have a plan to maybe help with this changeling problem, I guess you could say. There's a focus tree event that has a common enemy pop up, which will make all these other guys that are threatened by the changelings to have a better opinion of me. Specifically, these guys right here. The communist in Stalingrad. I'm worried about these guys, because if they want to invade me too, all hope is pretty much lost. I can finally start mobilizing my country just a little bit, going from a civilian economy, which is pretty bad, to early mobilization, which is better, so I'm not complaining, but I still have terrible, terrible things in place which are making it so I can't really build anything where these guys, they're in war economy, they have a ton of factories, they're they're going crazy, they have all good effects, all good national spirits, I guess I should say. I have two good and two bad, so it's not, I'm not in the best place right now. Maybe, I don't know if these guys would ever join my faction, but maybe they will. That could definitely help a lot to have these guys on my team. I already have the Crystal Empire. They actually have a bit of division. I should probably give them more credit than I am giving them. I'm kind of treating them like they can't do anything, but... Okay, so now we're gonna help out the... Yaks, I guess. If they're attacked by the Changelings, we have guaranteed their independence. The only problem is if the Changelings want to go after us, instead of going after them, they're not gonna help out us, so... It's kind of a bad situation, so I guess I can hope they try to fight these guys so then I can join the war and we can both try to knock them out instead of just me and the Crystal Empire probably getting destroyed by them, which is still a possibility. Ugh. And the Arctic Empire has won. The Polar Bears were winning there for quite a while, but the Penguins came back and won the day. Well, the fifth... Eerie versus Eerie with a Y war is upon us. I wonder who will win this time, or will it white peace again? I'm it's white peace to like four times, so odds are it's gonna be a white peace. Oh they might encircle right here. Nope. Yeah, this is very confusing. Oh, come on, just push go one tile farther. Take their capital, come on, I know you can do it. I know you can take the capital, huh? Oh, they lost their Eerie with a Y city. Oh, the Republic of Asterion took three states. Huh. Well then, oh, I think there's a big war right here. Yeah, well... I'll tell you guys when this war ends, because I think I already know what's gonna happen public schools funding. We're slowly improving our system of public schools. Equestria needs better education. Yep. I need that research speed, too. And, of course, peace again. If you want me to jump in and play as one of these guys in a future video, remember to like in this video and maybe comment which side I should pick and take over for. Eerie or Eerie with a Y. In the comments below. We'll see if I can make a difference and actually win this war if there's some weird rigged thing that makes it always end in a white piece. The war just ended and then the war started again. Eerie and Eerie are at war. The peace lasted for such a short time. It's hilarious. And they seem to actually have decent amount of troops, so they actually can man their border. It looks like the border is seven long. And I think they both have seven troops at least. Well, these have six and maybe seven, so they almost can protect their borders. I think now it's officially destined to be a white piece. They're both the same country. They both, this guy has one more factory. They're both exactly the same. It looks like we can finally get involved in this ordeal. Eerie with a Y wants our help. They want us. They want some help from our Air Force. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say absolutely. I like Eerie with a Y. They seem to be slightly the underdogs. See, these guys have three states and these guys only have two states, so 
If anything, they're the underdogs, so Yuri with a Y, you get my help. You get my support. And the Aquilian Republic is destroying some more places. They are gonna be massive. My time to prepare is almost over. They're doing their final war preparations. They're almost to lead the armies, which gives them war goals against me. I don't know if I can do this. They completely destroyed me when I did the Civil War thing. I won the Civil War and they demolished me. I've prepared this time, but I don't know if I will be able to actually win or if I can just delay them and make it last a little longer. I've been building as much fortifications as I possibly can along their border, so... I hope, I hope I can hold. They are a lot stronger than me, to be honest, so... It's gonna take a miracle to... To keep them at bay. Hopefully my friends will help me out. It's gonna be annoying that these guys don't really want to be on my team or I guess maybe they could be but the game definitely isn't gonna let me yeah they should just guarantee me too so that when they attack me they can help defend I guess are they that strong they are actually kind of strong like they're about as they're almost like half as strong as me and these guys have twice as many divisions as me there is nothing I'm gonna really be able to do to stop them my economy is just terrible with some of these laws I have. It's going to be quite a push to overthrow them. They're definitely going to break through my line easily. They've declared war and things initially aren't looking too good. I'm going to start my urgent wartime committee. I have some more war support, but it looks like my the law, changing these laws is blocked, which is a big problem. Yeah. This isn't good. Okay, you go right there. What? Oh. Did they have a naval invasion? Oh no. Oh wait, do they- is this like a border? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, they had like a naval invasion. No! This is already terrible. Okay, you guys are both joining wars. We need more troops. A lot more troops. Magical infantry, yes. What? Oh, we're not even making magical equipment? Okay, never mind. We're not getting magical infantry. Sorry. <laughs> Gonna make a lot of you guys though. Well, I got all my guys out into the field, but it was kind of a situation of too little, too late, because by the time all those troops got trained, I still have less troops than I started with. So I really think this is a lost cause right now. It's pretty hard. I would say it's pretty hard to actually succeed as these guys. I've played this game a lot and I don't really have very much problems in the regular game, but something we I, I must not have figured out something about this yet. I'm gonna have to test some things out maybe and figure out what's going on that causes this to go so downhill so fast. It's crazy. Maybe I just need the communists on my team. Maybe they would help me. Yes, I can keep putting more guys on the front line. It's pointless now. It's all over, but it's kind of a standstill, but they're just going to go on the offensive again. I can't even cover the entire line. Yep, and yeah, only if the communists would want to help. Well, that will probably do it for me. I... Equestria is pretty hard to play as. If you've played the regular Hearts of Iron 4 game, or even if you've just had a basic history lesson in World War II, you know that Germany defeats France pretty quickly, and in the reg regular game, playing as France is pretty hard if you don't know what you're doing, and in this case, <laughs> Equestria is pretty much like France. It's really hard to defend against the changing lands. They can just push right through me, and it's 
It's difficult, I'm sure it's possible to hold, but I just need more experience with this mod and I would love to get more experience with this. So if you have any recommendations of what you would like me to play as, if I should play as the Changeling Lands and take out Equestria, <laughs> or play as Stalingrad itself and spread some good old communism, you can tell me and I will probably do it. And I might even play as Eerie or Eerie, one of those two finally solve that civil war. I don't know if it's actually difficult or if it'll be like a one minute video of me <laughs> making a troop go around their lines and take their capital and end the thing quick, but who knows. And yeah, they, they're they not at war, but they're having a border conflict, huh? I really want to figure out what's going on here, so remember to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you can get notifications for when I release the next Hearts of Iron 4 Equestria at War video, and I'm I'm leaning towards solving this whole eerie thing, seeing what's actually going on. So remember to tune in next time and thanks for watching.